Hi everyone. Today I'm going to show you how to make a Celtic penannular brooch, which is uh, one of my best sellers on Etsy. Um, I make all my stuff with just old recycled electrical wire. Um, I'll just kind of show you my my bins. I've got some here, and I've got some more down below. I just stop at the junkyard from time to time and pick up different size wire. So, this is the wire that I'll be using for the Celtic brooch. Um, this is a wire gauge. It measures wire gauge. So this is about a... Eleven gauge wire, not a little bigger than a twelve, so about eleven. As you can see there. All right, so this is the wire. So I'm going to cut this at a six inch length. You can. That's the size I cut it. So. You can play around with that, like five and a half to two, uh, six inches works great. Oopsie. All right, so here's my little six inch strip of wire that I'll be using. Okay, so before we do anything, <clears throat> excuse me, with the wire, we have to anneal the wire. So that's the process of heating up the wire with a torch right here. Um, it's just a torch that I picked up at Canadian Tire. And we have to heat up the wire to make it easier to work with. So I'm just going to anneal. I'll, I'll be using the torch to heat up the wire and it'll turn different colors you'll see as i as as i'm heating it the wire we have to put it in the pickle pot so that's basically a solution of vinegar and salt that I use um, it cleans the fire scale off the copper so you can see it's all black right now so I'm just going to quench this Like I said, this is the pickle pot right here. And that will get rid of all the black fire scale. So we'll come back and check on that in a few minutes. All right, so we're gonna take a quick peek and see how the wire is doing. So as you can see, the black fire scale is starting to come off. So that was pretty good to me. So we're going to take this, this isn't the best setup for picking. I had plastic knives left in my cutlery drawer, so that's what I've been using. So I've put this, this is a solution of just water and baking soda, which will neutralize the wire. So you can see. Once copper has been cleaned, it has a 
salmon pinkish color. There we go. Okay, so now we're going to shape the wire, and I use a baseball bat as a mandrel, so it works pretty good. So I have a spot marked on my bat for the brooches, so it's you, you may want to mark your own spot just so your size is consistent. So then So there is a brooch waiting to be hammered. Okay, so now we're going to take the ring and we're, we're going to hammer it. Um, and I like to just kind of give it a bit of a tap around the whole exterior. And then I like to focus on the ends to you know, make the paddles go out. So you'll see here in a second. So I'm going to start doing that here. Okay, so this just hardens the metal and makes it harder. Uh, so now I'm going to do the ends. So it's important to try to hammer evenly in order to make the paddles i like to call them paddles so they they split out or they they come out evenly okay so that's i would say that would be a good size right there so now i'm going to do the other side file these after so I'm just gonna go over there so it's a little wonky but we'll fix that in a second Okay, so I've got my file here, so I'm just going to file the ends just so they're not as rough. This is kind of hard to do. I'm using my daughter's iPod and it's just not the best. So you just want to kind of even it out and kind of make it look nice and smooth.
Okay, so it looks pretty good. So now we're gonna move on to part two, which is making the pin that goes across. So I've got just this spare little piece of wire that I just got out of my garbage bin. <clears throat> it's probably, um, I'm gonna say like a 12 gauge. Yeah, 12 gauge. I mean, you can experiment and see what works best for you, but this will be sturdy enough to, to use as the needle. So the first thing we wanna do is just flatten up the end here. end hammered out so I'm going to file that So the next thing I'm going to do is take one of these six barrel pliers. I like to use this one, so the third smallest. So what I like to do is just kind of wrap, not close it completely. Okay, and then I just wrap it here, and I'm going to close this gap to make sure that the needle stays on there. So I just like to use a little pair of pliers for this. Sometimes it's a little tricky. Whoops. Whereas this one's really hard. Okay. So it's closed so you can test it out by trying to slide it down. It shouldn't go over the paddle. So now it can slide freely on the frame. So at this point, you kind of want to make sure that everything is looking okay. I'm going to straighten this out a little bit. Okay, so now I'm going to cut this to about here. So that's going to be the end of the needle. So now I'm going to hammer this down. I'm hammering on both sides just to try to even it out a little bit. It's 
So once you're done with that, we're just going to hammer out the end. Okay, so now that we've hammered this, we're going to cut using a pair of pliers and file that down. So there. So there's the Celtic penannular brooch. I mean, you. This is a super, super plain version, but you can dress it up and add some wire work in here. But basically, this is it. So now I'm just gonna uh, patina this and I'm gonna put it in the tumbler and then I'll show you what it looks like once it's all done. It'll be all nice and shiny.